<laughs> I just think every every world leader should be brought to Antarctica. I think the, ne the next get together of world leaders should be right right here, so they can, you know, see, you know, what it is that we've got to protect, what it is we've got to save. Look, this issue is so important to the world that it it, it is incredibly sad to see uh, the way the, the issue has become politicised. All, all, all I would do is urge people to um, you know, look at the facts and, um, and realise that you know, we do only have one world. A lot of this problem can be fixed by um, you know, just cutting out you know, wasteful habits. I just think that any, anybody who's in a position to make a difference has got to try to um, you know, stick their neck out and make a difference. And all the profits that we make from our dirty businesses, our airline businesses, our you know, train businesses. Um, you know, we, we, we invest 100% of those profits into trying to develop uh, clean fuels. And, um, and, you know, I'm hopeful that, you know, within five years, all our planes will be flying on fuels that will not be damaging the environment. We're just so fortunate to, to live on this, this gorgeous world. Um, and, you know, we owe it to that, that one world and we owe it to our children and grandchildren to protect this one world.